episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! They call the film Little Pieces of Time. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. There was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Hello everyone, I'm your German snob and I welcome you all to another episode of Let's Play Life is Strange. Now I see another cutscene coming on. Just my intuition for that sort of thing. So... Shouldn't pr probably shouldn't talk too much now. Which, coincidentally, also was the first Splinter Cell game. Is there a parallel there? Probably not. But... We can't rule it out. Hey! Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Now, where we left. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Just what I was about to say here. In the last episode, Kate jumped off the roof of this very building here. Which, um. is a tragedy, especially because it could have been avoided but I didn't manage to, and I feel quite badly about this. Now, how about the plant? Oh, no. I can't even take care of a plant, much less a person. What am I good for? That's something else I should probably have done differently. All things considered, I'm kind of a screw-up. But anyway, looks like we are taking care of Kate's rabbit. And I think hey, we should honey, at least take actually bummed, take care of it. From now on, I'm your new mommy. Which is why we are going to feed him. Don't want him to die on us. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Don't want that poor animal to starve. Let's turn on the light. You know what I really like? I kind of like that little light chain sort of thing she has above her bed. It's, uh, it looks neat. 
wonder where you can buy something like that. But then I don't particularly... Well, no, I, I do wonder. Ew! Thanks, Thanks for, for the, the image, image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? No, 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 I... Uh, no, actually, I don't think so. Samuel is like the best character in this game. That's in a draw. Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. Yes, I will. I'll do my best. Can we turn on some music? You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. That is not wrong. I really wonder how the game would have turned out differently if we had managed to save Kate. But... Uh, we didn't. What's on the picture? I'm such an idiot, Kate. I could have shown this to the principal and busted David. I could have. I don't think David is really at fault here. Honestly, if anyone is, it's probably Nathan. At least as much as we know now. And our schedule, but we have already looked at it. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, so let's get out and meet up with Chloe, who I think wants to meet us. Uh, look at our S SMSs. Nathan. Haven't read that up to now, right? Okay, no, yeah, we have seen that. It's. Is it too late to rewind? Sorry about Kate, I hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. Hey, Max, just thinking about you. You want me to leave you alone? Wrecked, shaking with nerves. I'm sorry, but you did what nobody else would. So I hear. At least I got Nathan Prescott suspended. Dude, you're a boss. Listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together, cool? I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. Ah, well, that ass will be got in gear. Also, we wrote to Warren for whichever reason. I really can't relate to that decision, but here we go. Talk, I'm always here, of course you are. And one from a private number. Pfft. Keep your smart mouth shut about it. Hey whore, feminazis will be exterminated, watch out. Well, will you have a look at this? This is disturbing. Yes, I have power, but Nathan is out of control. Also, apparently Nathan is a man's rights activist. Those are always fun. Though probably not for the reason they intend to, but... Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. No, they're generally one of the most amusing kind of internet losers. Just generally speaking. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Light. This rather reminds me of something that could be in a horror game. Avenge Kate Marsh. Okay. Oh, it's Brooke's room. Wherever you go, there I am. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Right, she's still a rather unpleasant person. Are we fallen angels who didn't want to believe that nothing is... That nothing... nothing. I hope Kate finally has her wings now. So do I. That nothing is nothing. Something I can't read in memory of Kate Marsh. The resolution is just slightly too low for it to be... Um, Actually readable. Readable. Read readable? No, readable. I speak English well. End of the world party. Well, let's hope that doesn't become prophetic. The end of the world might be coming before your party. 
Yep. And they... Oh, they made a little shrine in front of Kate's room. And barricaded off and... So much hypocrisy. Yes. Yes, indeed. That is quite hypocritical. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth. Mm. And so, this is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. It's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. I suppose. An awful TV crime scene. Uh, I guess that might be the first comparison. Hey, it's... what was her name? Taylor? Was that it? Yes! Ha! I actually got it right. <laughs> Why are you up so late? Hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. Why would I blame her of all people? Well, I, I can. I just I wish I could have stopped her. Are you okay? I'm just like... numb. I, I've never seen anybody actually... die. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <sighs> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Well, where did she go? Where did she go? My lips are like sealed. Like or Victoria sealed. will seal them for me. No doubt. See you later. I probably won't tell anyone, but then I kinda don't promise. Nobody can blame this poster for Kate's death. Safe, not sorry. No matter how much you like each other, one slip up can change your life. You have a choice. There is nothing wrong with waiting. Oh, right. Not safe for work. And hold to another universe. What is that trying to tell me? I don't know. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. So do I. But then I doubt anyone has seen it, seen how I... Oh. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. You know what, yes. That might be immoral, but... Oh, fuck that. I want to see what she is up to. And then what kind Since of I've crossed the, the line book? from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. That's a good idea. On the other hand, who the hell doesn't lock his, uh, his room when leaving it? I'm personally, I'm really paranoid about these things. What's on her laptop? Well, well, maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. From Victoria to Taylor. Hey, sweet tea, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after seeing somebody jump to their death? I can't believe we all saw it happen, live. It was like watching a reality show, and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or crying, I feel like total shit for everything. I said about Kate and that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate, V. For Vendetta. I'm sorry to Victoria, I can't stop seeing Kate fall. I need a drink, S-T-A-T. S-T-A... S-T-A... Soon... No. S I don't know what that stands for. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. From Nathan to Victoria. That Wemo bitch, Max Cockfield, got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm. Where she plays with her selfies, my parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How damp is he to have me rapping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down. And the end of the world party is fucking on. You in? Cheers, Prescott. Oh, what an asshole. 
What the fuck are you kidding me? That is bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro cam era. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble. And yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell, no matter what. I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there. Eh. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Arcadia Bay Cleaners, Blackwell, like... They told the detail cashmere sweater. Thirty dollars. I don't know. Like, how expensive is something like this usually? Probably less expensive, really. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Yeah, they are like the least metal people I've ever seen. Maybe not the least, but... Definitely up there. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, yep. there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Definitely not. Uh, what's in her drawer? These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Ah, there are worse things to spend money on than clothes, at least in my opinion. Those boots are made for walking runways. That's uh, what they do. Victoria is about as street as me, but she really appreciates style. Who doesn't? A unique point of view is right, thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Well, how about that? Essay noir and day. Expressionist photography. That sounds like something that I would like to read at some point, but that's not really an option. Excellent, well-researched essay with a unique point of view. A unique point of view. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. No, no, I don't think that's what this is. I don't think the Vortex Club is going to end anytime soon. They seem to be going quite strongly. Wouldn't it have been really awkward if Kate just came along the corridor while we were leaving her room? Yes, it would have been. So we better go on. And leave this here. Hey. hey can you come in here for a minute? What, me? Sure. How are you doing, Dana? O'Hara? Oh, oh, Dana, my. No. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate, and if this is my fault, too. Uh, we're all responsible. We really are. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Oh, come on. You were nice. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Like Victoria. Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Fine. It probably wouldn't go over too well if we looked at her laptop, but... <clears throat> Paperball? Well, what's... This is both sad and here? pathetic. 
Oh right, yeah, I think we've already read that. That from her ex-boyfriend, of course. Well, he's not much of a writer, but I think at least one can appreciate the effort. Yes, the, the Vortex, Vortex Club does, does indeed suck. I get that feeling too. And the laptop. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good, Good for Dana. Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and know how shitty it was to see Kate jump from the roof today. I don't have anything deep or smart to say, I just want you to know that you were a good friend. <laughs> you were a good... no. To her and I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up and I am here for you always. I miss you, Trev. Okay. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper and I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk where it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. Sincerely, Juliet. Uh, but she doesn't want to answer her questions. I think that's all there really is to see in here. Inline skates. You don't really see a lot of those around anymore, do you? Just my personal observation. Juliet never forget Kate. That should be about all that is still in here. Oh wait, no. My prayers for you, Kate. I repeat myself, the resolution is just slightly too low t for it to be easily readable. Stella! She misses her too. Well, that's just about what you'd expect after an event like that in a place like this. So we are just going to leave this here dormitory and go outside. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. In front of the main hall. Maybe we should sit down for a moment. What the hell am I doing out here? Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. This campus looks like a cemetery. Let's see it. Uh, maybe I should get up again. Now, personally, I think there is nothing particularly wrong about going for a walk late in the night. It's something I'd probably do more often if I didn't have to work in the morning. You know, just go out around midnight, around town, when no one's awake anymore. That seems like a pretty pleasant thing to do, actually. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Oh, another SMS. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. Oh, it is almost midnight. I kind of missed that. I didn't know what time it was exactly. Can I still go in there? Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Sammy wasn't around. He probably isn't. I wonder if he lives on campus or... Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. And literally nothing else in here. Oh yeah, there is, actually. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? I think he might be more into the bikini models, but... Who, who knows, really? I'm not going to make any accusations. Anything else in here doesn't really... Oh. The box. Nothing here. Thank you. Well, that seems to be it. Hey, look at that cute little squirrel. Chasing lighting bags. Hey, cute little squirrel. Can I interact with you? No, I can't. Fine, I guess. I really would have liked to, though. I wonder if he's going to come back once I... Uh, probably doesn't. 
Well then, suit yourself, squirrel. And that seems to be about it. Principal Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Okay. What is he doing outside of the girl's storm around midnight? Look at it. Feeling sorry for myself when King Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. It's not like you. Um, he's drinking, isn't he? Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Now that's a good question. <clears throat> Though a better question is, what is he doing drunk outside of the girls' dormitory? I mean, seriously. Uh, he's the best principal. The best. So is there any way I can get past him? It seems kinda unlikely. But... I wanted to say maybe we could manipulate that... Uh, electricity here to turn off the light so that we can sneak past, but that doesn't seem to be much of an option. So what do I do? What do I do? Is there anything here that can help me? Maybe I can try this room again, maybe this triggered something the cat seen just now, and we'll find something to help me. Oh, hey, toolbox. Nothing but tools. <sighs> Kinda indicative of the rest of the school. Just saying. No, still nothing here. Still nothing. Okay. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Already heard that. So, it doesn't seem to be much of a reason to be in here still. Should I make a cut here? Would probably not be too unreasonable. If I... Hello? Well, I'm here. And I'm coming, but... It's not that easy, you dig? Anything I can do about that light? No. Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Now he's got me totally trapped. You know what? I think I'll probably go and make a... I'm probably going to make a cut here. So, see you in a minute. Wait, we can interact with that totem. The Chibanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. That was absolutely fascinating. Be seeing you in a minute. Wait a moment, maybe I can rewind time until before he sat down here. Because something seems to be happening here. See?
So what if I can rewind even further? Yeah, like that. So while he has his back turned to us, trying to break in, for whichever reason, really this should be much more Maximum important to us than trying. Yeah, should be much more important to us than meeting up with Chloe. But okay, I concede that that's not what we can do right here. So let's just leave him to whatever he's doing. Though it does seem hella shady. <clears throat> And here we are, front of the main building. Huh. Booyah! Oh. Almost scared me. Get it? Almost. Booyah! Like a scary punk ghost. No, I don't. More like it. a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. Kinda. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... Act like an idiot. Don't. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Um, Chaos Fury was a great game, one of the best stealth games ever made up to this day. Definitely the best part of the Splinter Cell series. And um, I would definitely recommend it to you aside from no, seriously. Where does this dialogue option go? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No, baby. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? So, about Kate. Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Well, not just them, though. Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Uh, dead? Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day. You can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Yeah, of Katie. course you did. I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. 
I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Mm. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? When I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. The gatekeeper. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. <clears throat> okay. So let's just hope no security is here. That would be quite problematic if they were. But it doesn't seem to be that way. You know, this whole section reminds me of a part of um, Silent Hill Shattered Memories. One of the most underrated games that I have ever played, by the way. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Uh -huh. Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves as does the 15.54 drop in campus crime. <clears throat> I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you are a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Sincerely, Madsen David. Okay. Well, you know, no one likes surveillance. I mean, some will probably view it as a necessarily evil. Ne necessary evil. Only but... a total phony would wear a crappy hat like the hat. Now don't judge. Don't jump to conclusions. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. How to feed your inner spirit animal. Come on, who the hell reads something like that? No, 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 I know exactly the kind of people who read something like that. Also, don't think that I've seen that or that I haven't noticed that thin thinly veiled gauge up there. You should be above that, Max. You should absolutely be. Chloe, how are you coming That's along? It. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to 
Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. I wish I knew how to lockpick. I don't, but I wish I did. That seems like a reasonably interesting skill to show off. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. That would have been too easy. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. Betty's cute. It's probably a she, really. Crap. Yeah, I didn't expect that to be successful. How about the desk? <sighs> no keys here. Well, maybe you should try to draw us. I can't believe I have to tell you that. Talking about drawers. Nothing to see here. Uh huh. Scrolls, Scrolls like nuts. Oh yeah, right. No, we haven't. Seen Does that, that mean Samuel is? Nah. Desolation. Devastation. What a mess we made. No. There's still more drawers to search. Dead end. Files. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey Warren, you busy? Oh come on, we don't need... Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry. I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me, and thanks for the help. This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell! Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Sugar, a soda can. I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. What do we have here? Uh, yeah. Now pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chloride. Here's how you do it. I think I can understand that. Any questions? Sodium chloride, what the fuck? It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So are you really going to try this? Keyword is dry, I bow to your wisdom. Come on, don't encourage him. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. That's not wrong, actually. He is a very classic nerd. He's the classic science kind of nerd. Not the modern movies and video games kind of nerd. That, admittedly, I am. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. You shouldn't judge then. Though maybe you should because we are talking about Warren here. Ooh, sugar. That's number one. Only three more items to go. What's in the graffiti? Max takes shitty selfies. I never said they were great, troll. Alright. Science book. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. You'd think so, but he didn't. So, how about that? Chemistry stuff. No, this mixture doth not work. You haven't even looked properly. So, weed killer, she says. 
Well, that's what you have right here. Here's the sodium chloride box. But we can't properly reach it, right? You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chloride. Can we reach it? You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Very good, so what we have is... Warren, Warren... Ah, Warren. Okay, so we have the uh, sodium chlorate and the sugar. Now what we need is a soda can and some duct tape. Which should be reasonably You're easy to come back. halfway home, Max. Yeah. Need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. As I said, soda can and duct tape. Which doesn't sound like it would be difficult to find. Also, maybe it's just me, but it strikes me as a relatively bad idea to just um, use an explosive concoction this to break like into the room. This is like a scene in a horror film. Is it? Yes, actually it is. But as I said... That I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Yes, actually. So what I was trying to say here... Um, you know, using explosives to break into a room strikes me as something that will probably leave traces. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Quite easily. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. But is anything in here that will bring us closer to our goals? Soda, duct tape, cigarettes, natural... Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Really, I think we as a we as a society should stop making fun or well making fun of. Should stop being smug towards smokers. There is nothing wrong about smoking, it's one's decision, right? Like The tape is mine. Only one more ingredient left. That's right. The soda can. Where would a soda can be? It would sound like the easiest thing to find. But yet, I haven't found it. So maybe it's not in this room. Maybe we should... Yeah, exactly. Such okay, garbage cans. I have a can. Now you know it's time what? to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Lame. But you know what? This might be a pretty good point to stop recording for today. So as you all know, I'm your German snob and did the game save. Uh, I can redo this if it didn't. So as you all know, I'm your German snob and this is Let's Play Life is Strange and I'll be seeing you again next time. Until then, ciao!